Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today we are going to talk about a simple way to hollow a model in Lychee. So as most of you know, Lychee uh, released a new update on hollowing. So now we have two uh, different ways of hollow on Lychee and I'm going to show you both and how we are using them. So in here we have a uh, base for last month uh, Archvillain games for the Elder Brain and this is a good object like it's a good piece of terrain to show you how hollowing can work in different ways. So you have your model and you will go into your left side of the screen and you will have this will be our hollow window and you will have two types of hollowing. So the first one it's it's like FDM in some sort of way because it will eliminate the need for internal supports and if you guys don't know every time that you hollow a model sometimes or most of the times you will have internal islands being generated within the model that if are not supported they will cause a failure so the two problems with hollowing is internal islands and internal chambers every time that the thickness of the wall uh, it's reduced sometimes points connecting the model will create separate chambers that are individual and can have trapped resin if they are not connected in some sort of way so you have to tackle this either by creating holes connecting those chambers or upping, upping the thickness of the wall into a value that makes that chamber solid if not you will have as i said trapped resin on the inside and it will be a mess and if you are using water washable resin most probably it will crack if not immediately after a few days or weeks it will so not talking about all the problems with hollowing i'm here to show you how to do it actually so let's the first way is clicking on the left side of the screen on the hollowing and as I said, this is, will be like FDM. It will uh, avoid the internal island problem by creating a sort of a mesh on the inside that we can call infill, like FDM, which is basically an interconnected mesh with full of holes on the inside that you can um, then decide which thickness they should be. Okay, so for our internal argument, usually we at Atlas use between 3 millimeters and not lower than 2.5 millimeters. We don't want to compromise the structural rigidity of the model. So what you will do is select on and you will have a preview of the way that the infill will be generated. So in here, you will select the infill. I've tested personally and most of my teammates also tested at 15% and 20% so these values will be safe. Lower than that you are taking a risk, saving some resin but still taking a risk. So let's leave it at between 15 and 20%. Uh, so what this will do if you see, it will hollow the model but it will create that inside mesh that you can see there this is ultra useful though it has a problem which is this hollowing it generates on slicing what i mean is in cheetah box you could hollow a model and basically export the stl as a hollow model so you could not um, change anything on it but it was ready to go you just needed to slice it and it will be good and you could have multiple objects on the same plate which were solid and others were um, hollowed. In this case, if you choose this route, which was the first route that Lychee released, you cannot do that. Any model that will be on the plate with this setting on will be hollowed. It doesn't matter the size or if you had it alls or not, everything will be hollowed. So this is a problem. But if you are only printing terrain or, for example, on a Saturn or a Mono X, it will be fine. So the th second thing that you have to do is add holes. How do you do this? You go to the supports layout, you go to holes and you change the diameter of the holes. We recommend if you have the space to not go below five millimeters. So 
in here I will just I could go with a bigger hole than this but you get the point so one thing that Cheetah Box also didn't allow you but now Lychee does is so you see how this hole is poking through in Cheetah Box you would be screwed because you would have to go back and redo almost everything but Lychee because Lychee uh, slices the holes at the slicing what this means is these holes are just uh, pre-positioned they are not actually uh, generated yet this is just the position that they will be generated at so I can move them which is magic so now I can move the holes or increase the radius or decrease the radius doesn't matter and I can play with it all day so for the newcomers that don't know this you will need at least two holes in the model one basically it's for air transference so you don't create a vacuum so air can get in and out and the other one is for resin and as much as suction forces are at play in this uh, the size of your holes probably will matter the most for drainage on cleanup so you want your IPA to actually have a good sizable hole to clean up the model. So as you can see, I can move the holes, etc. It's it's awesome. So this is one one type of hollowing, and the disadvantage is, as I said, uh, you can only use this if you are certain that all the models in this plate will be hollowed. If not, they will be hollowed anyway, so you screwed. Or the other problem is you cannot actually export it as is because it's not actually hollowed yet. It will be hollowed on slicing, but it's still not. So you cannot export the STL as a hollowed object, which uh, it was really hard for us. You, we had to go to Cheetah Box and uh, export it as a hollowed STL for you guys. But now Lychee released an update and that's the second part of this method, which is you go back you turn off the hollowing because this is for the first type so be careful don't use both or you will have by default using the first one um, so the second one you just click it off and you have a second version this is on a 3.1 beta version by the way if you guys are downloading this right now um, so you select your thickness the precision it's the smoothing out of the internal mesh so i like to run that at four as you see, there are some features that which are lacking, but they will be absolutely perfect. And it's basically zone hollowing and blocker. This means that you, if you have uh, an arm or a leg which is are generating uh, internal chambers that you want to avoid, you can block or create a zone around it so it, it will not hollow that one. So it will make it solid, avoiding all the problems with internal chambers that we have been encountered. Um, so just use 2.5 as i said and basically anytime that you click update or add it will uh, hollow the model and then you can export as an stl and it will be hollowed and that's the beauty of it and you can actually do the reverse which is awesome too so click on add now it's hollowing basically this is how you hollow on the second method if you go through the layers you can see this is the normal hollowing. So you have your holes. And as you can see in this case, you don't have internal islands or internal chambers. Uh, actually, you might have there. Um, so in case of you encountering an internal island like this, you have a new camera for this, which is the hollowing camera, which just reveals the inside parts of the model like this. This will show the inside mesh and as you can see if I select supports I can go and select the supports on the inside like this. You can alternate between the two if it's a really difficult task like pinpointing some kind of uh, island like that and I'm getting really off topic over here but you can do it like this. So you have the two methods now. Um, what I was saying is check that the model is hollow like this and now if you basically click export STL this will be hollowed which is nice and uh, if you want to cancel the hollow and release a solid version and uh, 
if you want a solid version or a hollow version, you can just go back into the thing, click on the object like this and basically reverse everything back. So now I click on the uh, trash bin and basically the model is solid again, which is fantastic. Now you just have to remove the holes and you'll be fine. So hope this was helpful guys and if you have any doubts once again just ping us on our discord. We are always accepting uh, new suggestions for uh, new videos and if you want to see anything uh, on our videos just let us know. And yeah, hope you guys have all a great week.